What's up you again guys? This is Paul from Hardicans Code. I'm a web developer, programmer by profession. I'm from the Philippines but working here in Singapore as a software engineer. And today I will walk through with you guys on uh, how to use Golang Maps. Um, this Golang Maps is very useful uh, in our because in our previous uh, discussion we have uh, what they call Golang structs, but that Golang struct is only that that Golang structs can hold only one uh, row, one record at a time in that uh, memory pointer. But uh, and then we use that uh, uh, Golang struct uh, for one uh, record at a time only. Then then it will just replace with the recent or uh, current uh, rows that we need to store. Uh, at this moment, we need to use the Golang maps to, so that we can uh, append um, uh, the informations there. Then we can just store, we can just also link up uh, whatever uh, struct that we can uh, probably use. Uh, okay, then, then we can uh, uh, store uh, more information in the memory using these Golang maps. So let's dive into it. Welcome back guys to the channel and then uh, I, as usual I prepare a short uh, the basic uh, information here like the package main and then uh, I would like to create this session here uh, what they call uh, variable um, this variable guys we need to declare as a user session I make it as a exportable variable to make it uh, so that we can use um, make practice of these guys so as you can see to declare the map is you need to declare a make and then map is uh, this is the simplest way i can uh, illustrate to you guys in 64 here but uh, here is the key is the string inside the map you see the map there then the, this is your key and then this is your value left pane is the key which is unique at all times if you have multiple duplicate keys, it uh, the Golang maps will return to you only one key, uh, which is uh, uh, only singular and unique key you can store in the map. But values you can store multiple times, whatever you want, duplicate or whatsoever. But the key there is unique. Please remember that, guys. Then again, I need to put the something. Uh, stores the golangs stores the users uh, session for example guys into the golang golangs map okay so then uh, I want to declare a function here guys called um, store user session for example guys so that easy for us to store um, the information here using the function then we just put the username and then the, the, the parameter there as a uh, as a string in a one of these uh, uh, in this uh, function then again you need to store session um, this one will insert uh, new user session to the map for example and then um, for the sake of simplicity guys I need to uh, normally in the session we need to have a uh, expiry uh, just to illustrate to you guys um, now we use the time that now um, to add all these guys and then uh, okay need to reload something guys where my editor is not uh, showing the intelligence so okay now the time is added uh, and then what I need is at least we need to identify faster guys um just to we i use the millisecond to illustrate to you the 
the difference of each user we can add multiple user at the time now um, this serves as uh, as the users session timeout for example but normally guys you can put here normally is a 30 minutes then you can put minutes here um, that the uh, minutes this one but uh, for the sake of this uh, tutorial so that we can identify guys is a multiple um, uh, record that we can keep and then to show you the that the key for the golang map is uh, it will be unique and it will just be overwritten the existing uh, whatever is the uh, existing key there then it will just overwrite then we use this uh, session user session guys the the map on top and then uh, we can uh, pass on the parameter there oh no this is how we can insert the new golang map guys so as you can see um this is the user session hold on guys i need to sometimes you need to reload the visual studio code it, it takes time to uh, remove any hinting there non-functional it should be okay oh sorry it's not function <laughs> should be a bracket okay now i can explain a bit that this uh, user session now we use this variable this variable is declared as uh, as you can see there is a map the key is the string but the value is int 64 because the unix uh, because we store a unix uh, timestamp here guys the unix timestamp actually returns int 64 uh, no worries at this time guys uh, I just want to illustrate to you the, the time so that the, the, in every millisecond um, we just want to keep uh, this uh, uh the users uh, what they call the timeout uh regarding this uh, in 64 regarding this uh, map here as the value uh we need to store the users um current session or whatever the the, the timeout guys so in this illustration we demonstrate how to insert this by using a new function you can also direct guys but uh, i just want to shared with you that we can uh, use a function actually function is more uh, convenient and more uh, more convenient than recommended because uh, no need for you to read uh, direct everything here because you have uh, some logics here before you can insert into the map so whatever if you want to search the key first or whatever you want to delete the key whatsoever guys you can create a you can create a function then you, you can do all your data massage there whatever and then uh, and then we can use these guys uh, just to illustrate to you FMT that we want to display something here first uh, welcome to the golang maps I just want to show because later on we will display more now we can use this uh, store user session function with the uh, one argument which is the username and uh, just key in directly uh, triple example assuming that the, the username is triple a and then uh, now we can just insert these guys uh, as you can see if I just uh, plainly uh, print out the map there I want to print the store this uh, user session go run as you can see guys that the map is there this user session is there guys user session then the map is actually is a map the key is uh, a triple a then the value is uh, this timestamp here so now we can store a map here then if we want to replicate guys you want to see 
um, different usernames, for example, uh, CCC. So it will be just. Uh, I will show you to. I will show to you that actually it will can it can store multiple here. As you can see, our Golang map is uh, keeps appending. The first the first row is the it insert the the triple A. And then another one is uh, then the B is there inserted into the map, and then the third the third row is the uh, actually is now three three informations there, which is the CCC username. Now our Golang maps we have uh, three informations there, so I want to remove these guys. I want to show you. Here also you can um, you want to loop through uh, the map. If you want to loop through the map, uh, you want to check here like uh, by using the for range. Then the for example expiry date here, guys. Then the range. Then we can use that uh, user session there on top. Uh, the actual map. Uh, declaration this uh, variable and then we can just loop through like a fmt instead of looping the, the entire map uh, instead of uh, printing all the maps there we can loop through each row uh, for the for the map uh, from the map and then uh, we can print the specific uh, field whatever you want to capture there then uh, for example this is uh, your username want to get the key there uh, and then uh, and then the expire date this is the expire date and then we try to yes so we will try to print guys go run now as you can see instead of uh, printing directly to this now we are looping directly guys so uh, as you can see the username aa whatever you have in the map here in one short printout but now we i can illustrate to you as uh, showing here that uh, we are looping uh, through this uh, code here that actually we can uh, loop through all the maps whatever it's there and then uh, we can just uh, print uh, the all the keys and the values there as you can see that the values are all same because uh, it captures although it's millisecond but right now i want to illustrate to you that uh, the value is actually changing guys uh, by using this uh, time that uh, sleep we want to sleep uh, at least it will not execute at the very fast one uh. this one you cannot execute um, we want to put some delay guys times uh, time that second so every one second it will just sleep for a while and then insert another map just to demonstrate uh, here also here no need so right now because the timestamp there is all the same because it captures very fast want to clear go run as you can see there is a delay in every second there then now uh, the capture it captures the 44 the last Two digit is 45 and 46 so every second it stores the new data there this uh, demo data uh, in this case is a uh, three records so actually it's storing guys now if you want to this one is to uh, check the uh, loop loop through the loop through the map collections okay so i want to show you that the the key is uh, actually is unique guys i want to insert another one but with the uh, I, I use the same triple a as the key then it will it will not uh, duplicate the key there that means uh, it that means that the golang map uh, especially the key is a unique key okay so um, okay then i will lo loop through again but this time yeah i want to 
Um, maybe this one disable because we don't need this. Okay, so I want to use the same key as the E A, and then I want I want to loop through again. But I want to illustrate some markings here. Um, check duplicate check duplicate key. I just want to check, guys. This uh, marking, then it will print again. So I will clear. I will go run. It delays for one second. Okay. Now, as you can see, that the check duplicate key is there. Now, um, take a look at the value for a. The value for a is uh, hold on, guys. Actually, the map is not uh, sorted, guys. Um, it will just jumble up. As you can see, C A is jumble and jumble up. So no worries about that. Uh, there's another function called the uh, sort something, uh, but that one is a different uh, way, guys. But now we are focused on the Golang map. We just want to have uh, data there stored in the memory, and then we can. Uh, fetch and uh, collect later on so this is the thing guys as you can see that the duplicate here the duplicate key this another key here the a is different value guys uh, the previous one is the the timestamp is 859 but actually i reuse again after this uh, block of code here i store another a but then again when then after that uh, these uh, markings here, this uh, print line. And then I will want to loop again what is the current value for the A. Uh, in this case, we just simplify, but later we can just uh, create a uh, uh, retrieve uh, a specific row or specific key like this A. Then I don't want to loop through all these things. So uh, right now is a A. And then the, what do you call the the value is changed as you can see 859 but the value here is 861 already so that means it will just overwrite then guys uh, it will not append a new duplicate key in this case is a a so the golang map itself is uh, controlling it this is a this is a good way if we want to store a unique key the one is a unique key only but the value you can uh, uh, store multiple times there, whatever duplicate also. Uh, right now, this is how we store the uh, Golang map. So we just append, append all this information there. Then uh, I want to show you also how we can delete the the key. Okay, so here we want to delete delete the key from the map. Golang's map. Uh, to delete the key guys is uh, I want to illustrate to you in this line also just to make it delete uh, the 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 maps key oh. key here here I want to illustrate to you how we can delete uh, for example in this command you can create a function guys uh, to delete the key uh, straight away we can uh, delete guys by using this delete command uh, using again the which map collection in this case is the user session and then uh, which key we want we want to delete uh, in this case is the triple a we want to delete again I want to display uh, check uh, if the key is still exists in this looping or not but i want to illustrate to you that uh, this is the marking here just to demonstrate guys okay i tend to delete the letter a the user the key is uh, a this is the first loop now as you can see the a is removed guys in this block of code uh, previous one we have the duplicate there but uh, it's just overwritten in this part but uh, the a is still there but after the after we delete the 
in the map here then it's just showing the B and the C only so the A is has been removed or delete from the map so this is the thing guys okay guys so we continue guys and then uh, I would like to create uh, for our last uh, discussion here I would like to create uh, uh, another function to look for a specific key and then we return the what they call the value for that key uh, in this in this case is the session user sessions and then um, the map and the key is the actually our key here is uh, in this example is the username so because we store the username right and then the, the value for that key is the session expiry which is the timestamp the unix timestamp which is it, it will return uh, in int integer 64 in 64 uh, right now i want to retrieve uh, the specific uh, key for example like a or b for example in our sessions here like we store the user b then the user a and then the c is succeeding uh, uh, insertion right now i want to find and look for or retrieve the specific key and its value so to, to do that uh, i need to create a function guys uh, this function i will call this as a uh, get uh, map key and then uh, i'll just uh, pass on the username with the string i just require the username because this one is our, our parameter here and then i will require in 64 because uh, and then the boolean I need to return this boolean uh, in 64 is actually we want to re to retrieve or return the expiry date for each user session uh, okay then uh, we proceed and then uh, I need to have the user something like uh, this local variable here user session uh, expiry and then the okay these are all local variables guess and then I uh, use that uh, map there uh, this map uh, this is the actual map that uh, the, the collection the collections are there all the username and its uh, expiry and then uh, we want to retrieve with open close bracket guys and then I will pass on this uh, parameter okay then uh, if uh, not okay this is a boolean is a true or false guys not is uh, the exclamatory here is not is not okay then we return um, all this uh, 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 we need to return the value guys uh, hold on this uh, user session and then the okay which is uh, either a true or false and other than this um, this one will return another thing if it if not if it is false then uh, then here is a true statement user session expiry and then okay again and then uh, the map we need to put this again just to get the specific uh, key value and key key value from the from from a golang map and then go length map okay guys then i will use this uh, function here to retrieve like uh, this uh, function requires integer in 64 and boolean variable also so i need to define uh, user session um, um, expiry date and then uh, is found Okay, then I use this function guys then uh, I just uh, because it was it, it requires one parameter which is the username uh, in this case the uh, username is our key uh, I will look for the a uh, just to demonstrate guys uh, if you want if you can found is found here then you can just say like uh, it is found okay 
uh, fmt that uh, print line then we can say uh, uh, the key is found oh i mean the users expire expiry session user session expiry something like a uh, user session date user session date this is the thing guys so if a then you can just uh, replicate this uh, i want to show also the this value I just want to display is more accurate guys I want to see this found also oh sorry okay I just want to sh to illustrate we would like to run guys maybe you can run multiple here also this one on top is we deleted the remember we deleted the A now you want to check if the map can see the a still uh, by by seeing this uh, function using this function by searching this uh, golang map we just use this uh, this script guys this one is a standard script for golang so uh, okay as you can see you use the golang map here and then the key and that's all guys you have this uh, not equal then you just return this all these values right now i want to display just uh, maybe simple guys just for the sake of simplicity here uh, i just want to display again the b i will look uh, i will find for b right now we have an error because we duplicate you cannot duplicate the the local variables here guys you can just only re declare once because on top we declare this colon here is a is a variable shortcut for variable declaration for this part but uh, at, the, at the bottom we reuse the variable but we don't need the colon there you just reuse this variable then overwritten right now i need to find the b the first one is the a and then the b let's see because we don't delete the b here in this deletion part here let's see if we can find guys okay so maybe we'll do the same here also just to illustrate okay oops run so the a is b that i need to display here okay now in this part this block of code i want to erase again okay okay this is more clear guys the first block is the day we, we insert these three um, values and then the second one is we tested if the duplicate key is uh, it will be overwritten the a actually it's there but it will overwritten by the new key and a new value here with this with this key uh, with this username a and then uh, we delete the after the next line here is that we delete the a this uh, key triple a and then we delete then it's no more here we look through and then after this we find this code oh, okay in this block is we find we use the specific uh, golang map here to look for the specific key and return its value but uh, then we uh, in this part the username a is, re is already deleted uh, on top and then we look through for the a then it returns this uh, value guys from this uh, the, this function get map key then it's not found the is found variable is a boolean var variable uh, it says it's false so that means it's true guys it is already deleted in the golang's map there in our map and then the second row is the b it actually is found as you can see we retrieve the expiry date for this uh, key 
and then it's found it's true because we never delete this uh, key the triple b so it's working guys so now it's uh, totally working and uh, i hope you learn here in uh, how we can use the golang map um, with the simple illustration and uh, demonstration to you guys i hope we we can uh, uh, learn something here in uh, golang in uh, here in marlikan's code specifically these uh, golang maps so right now uh, we store only the simple value there as you can see like this example guys the triple b the key is you always unique in the golang's map and then uh, the value is only one data but um, this is not always the case because we want to store multiple datas mul multiple values in one key for example the uh, triple b but i want to store the uh, what do you call the golang structs like uh, the data there is like uh, in our previous discussion there is a there is a first name last name email all these things we want to store in the value there then we can fully utilize the golang's map this is a more uh, medium uh, level guys so probably in my next video we will have this uh, um golang's map and then uh, we pair it we we use the golang struct we use the struct to store as the value there and then we can retrieve all this information uh this is probably uh, in our next discussion guys so no worries okay that's all for today guys and uh, i hope you learned here in marlikan's code regarding this uh, golang maps now we can we know the basics of uh, golang maps that we can actually uh, store multiple data there with the single key this is what they call the single key only but if, as, as you've noticed in our demonstration there you cannot have multiple keys it should be a unique key like for example your username uh, your username is a uh, triple a but again it, it will be uh, replaced or overwritten by uh, another if you have another uh, same key then you then it will just replace whatever the value there it is a key and then value pair in python this is called the dictionary so in other programming language uh, like the python is a it is called uh, dictionary so this one is very useful guys the golang maps because uh, we we will know uh, and then uh, most especially this one is in is in the memory so uh as you know like uh, if you know redis uh this one is um is a key value pair also but stored in memory that's why if you have some uh, sessions there or something like that then you can store in uh, golang maps uh in our next discussion guys we will have uh, more advanced on this um, because right now is uh, uh actually the map you can use multiple uh, you can use different types of uh, values there actually we can embed the actual uh, structs of how many data that you want to uh, extract there but in return we will do we will we will in our next uh, video after this we will use the encoding there uh, we they call it the go encoding to store uh, like uh, in your map like a uh, key is the key is triple a for example and then your value is uh, right now is only one right uh, it's only the integer in 64 which is the timestamp and the unix timestamp that we store but uh, in our next uh, video we will store the actual uh, struct there then we will then we and then store this struct into this golang map then we can have uh, multiple datas in one key like the username but uh, there's a lot of like a username uh, like whatever no password <laughs> like whatever you want to store in the in the value for this so like a uh, last name first name whatsoever guys so we can win one key but it's a struct uh, value here then we can have then we can expound more on these golang maps golang maps golang maps is actually is a 
very useful guys in programming i really like the maps because we can uh, use multiple uh, uh we can retrieve faster data like like that guys so i hope you learn a lot here in marlikan's code um uh, see you in my next episode series guys if you like this video kindly subscribe to my channel or hit like the hit that like subscribe button there and uh to have uh, so that i can share more of uh, these types of videos here in marlikan's code uh see you in my next episode series kindly subscribe to my channel and uh, may god bless us all thank you so much for watching bye bye